Um, but we are we are huge we are huge Kiss fans here, and we know you auditioned for Kiss in '82, right? '82 to replace Ace Frehley. That's right. And could That's you right. tell us about that time and the audition itself? It was it was bizarre. You know, I was just a kid. I was 18 years old, and um, it. I was playing. I came to Los Angeles and uh, was playing in a club called Gazzari. It was Gazzari's on the Strip. It was a famous club in Sunset Strip for Los Angeles. And uh, a, a girl came to me and said, you know, my boyfriend is the drummer of Kiss and they're looking for a guitar player and I think you would be really perfect. And I, I was like, ah, this is some joke, you know. <laughs> Then a couple weeks later, we were playing there again. And she came and she brought Eric Carr. And uh, Eric was super nice to me. He said, hey, I really like you playing and I think you should audition. And So I, I was like, wow. You know, and I, at first I was looking at him like, is that really him? But it, 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 you could see his hair. He's got the unmistakable hair. And, uh, unmistakable said, hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I said, yeah, I was, I, that would be cool. You know, Kiss was not my my big band, you know, my big, my heart was, was Led Zeppelin, but I love Kiss. They had great songs, you know, and I used to listen, my sister had, had a record player. I didn't have one. My sister had a record player and she had Kiss Alive and Kiss Alive 2. And I would listen to those with the headphones and close my eyes and be like, whoa, that's like amazing, you know, the, the vibe of those concerts. And uh, so, He called me one day and he said, uh, I, I want you to, he called me, I didn't have a phone. He called me at the store where I was working. I gave him that number and he called me and he said, I want you to come down and meet Gene and Paul. So I, I went down, I met them and Gene said, uh, you know, we hear you're, you're a good guitar player and I want you to play a little bit on some of our songs that we're working on. They were in the studio at the record plant famous studio mm -hmm. so i was playing and i'm playing uh, there was a song called um is, is i love it loud on that record yeah creatures of the night yeah it's a weird riff when i heard that riff i was like confused i didn't know i, I didn't know what to do so i was playing and gene goes do you ever play major scales And I said, major scales, what is that? He goes, you know, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And I go, oh, yeah, of course I know that. He goes, try that. I go, that's like Michael Schenker. I get it. And so I played it. And he's like, yeah, good, good, good. So he goes, okay, good. Right? He wrote down three songs. He wrote down um, Firehouse, mm -hmm. Black Diamond, and might have been Strutter. I can't remember. But he wrote the songs down. He wrote his phone number. He goes, call me if you need any help. Learn these songs by Monday and let's get together and play. So I got together and played. And I, I arrived and it was like first time. For me, I was just a kid. I only had a couple of Marshall. I had like a Marshall's half stack. This was eight cabinets and, and eight heads. It was a wall of Marshall's. And, I, and they said, you know, okay, there, there, there's your rig. And I'm like whoa <laughs> you know <laughs> that was as good as 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 meeting you know kiss was was playing through that many marshals i always dreamed about it i could never afford that you know so we played and they said sounds good we'll get back to you and a couple weeks later they called me back and they said uh we want you to come back one more time and i was like whoa so i got came back i played It's a, it's a long story, but basically, I wasn't ready. You know, these guys were rock stars. They were, they were, you know, dating famous people, and they've been around the block. And I just, I was not comfortable around them. You know, it doesn't matter about the playing. It's more about the hanging. You know, mm -hmm. when you're trying to join a band, this is the advice for for, for younger guys auditioning for people, or or any any situation where you're trying to you know, impress people. It's like, just be yourself. Just be, just be natural. 
don't worry about all the bullshit. You know, like it doesn't matter if you're, I mean, no disrespect, but I would say like now I'd be like, it doesn't matter if you're Jimmy Page or, or Gene Simmons or, or whoever. It's like, you're a person, I'm a person. This is what I do. That's it. But at that time, being a kid, and these guys were in their, you know, 30s, we didn't have any connection, like, mm-hmm. personally. So they, they went with Vinnie Vincent. And I get it, because I would have, too. Because Vinnie Vincent was a little older, he had more experience. And he could hang out and just be like a normal person. You don't want to have somebody on a tour bus that's like awkward. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's just like if you're going to hire somebody to do your to help you guys do the, the show or or whatever you're doing in life, even if you're going to, you know, have somebody help you do a, a a job at your home, if somebody's awkward, it's it's awkward. You don't want to be around that. You know, it's like you want somebody that's confident, that's normal, that's just being themselves. So that's that's what happened. But I learned a lot from that experience and it really it really encouraged me because they liked my guitar playing, you know, and, and uh they wanted a they wanted a, a high tech guitar player for, you know, the eighties type of sound. And I was still learning, I'm still learning, but I was doing pretty good and, and uh so it gave me encouragement to get better. <laughs> 